Now the Asus ROG lineup has long been regarded as one of the best in the business when it comes to gaming laptops. The amalgamation of great hardware coupled with superb performance and that RGB flair makes them a unique proposition for sure. And with the launch of the new Intel 13th gen processors coupled with Nvidia's RTX 40 series GPUs, you can now get pretty much the best performance ever from these gaming laptops. Now what I have right here is the all new Asus ROG Strix SCAR 16 laptop. Now there's actually an 18 inch display variant of this laptop available as well, but I personally opted to review the 16 inch variant specifically because of the superior display that this thing packs in while the rest of the package remains the same. So what is so great about this laptop's display? Well, I'll get to that in depth while I'll also be getting into depth about the entire package that this laptop packs in. So without wasting any time, this is one from GTR and you're watching my in-depth review of the Asus ROG Strix SCAR 16 2023 edition. Let's get started. Alright, so kicking things off, let's just start by talking about the design here. Now, ASUS has opted for a transparent kind of a design here for some parts of this body, which is actually pretty good. I mean, I personally really admire it. The back grille, the side frame, and even the top portion of the keyboard are all transparent, slowly fading into complete darkness. Now, I understand some folks might not like it, since it appears as if you've put a case on your laptop, but personally speaking, I absolutely love it. And anyway, transparent cases or transparent designs seem to be the kind of trend that we're seeing nowadays. Like for instance, you can take a look at pretty much all of nothing's products. And it's not just that category, even for laptops, there's the MSI Cyborg 15 that also has a transparent body language. Speaking of which, our review of that laptop is coming pretty soon, which is basically a that's actually the most cheapest and the most affordable RTX 40 series laptop out there. So make sure that you're subscribed to our channel for when that review was live. But back to the Strix SCAR 16 for now. It is an ROG product and one thing that immediately separates ROG from ASUS's tough lineup is the inclusion of flashy RGB lights. You get a front rail, a back rail, the ASUS ROG logo itself, and of course the keyboard, all sporting RGB lighting. And all of it is completely customizable. Now, before I talk about the IO options on this thing, uh, I want to stress on one important thing about this laptop. Uh, so usually when you talk about these high-end gaming machines, they have uh, ports not just on the left and right side, they also have ports on the rear end of this laptop. But on the new Strix SCAR 16, Asus has changed its design language a little bit to basically make room for better thermals. I'll talk about that in the thermal performance department, but basically there are no ports here on the back side. On the left side, you get the charging port, followed by a 2.5 gigabit LAN port, an HDMI 2.1 port, a Thunderbolt 4 port, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. Then over to the right side, you get a couple of USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports. Now, personally, I would have liked to see a SD card reader here, a full-size SD card reader, but uh, well, it is what it is. Now back to the design, despite its slim bezels, ASUS has managed to incorporate a 720p webcam here. Now the camera quality in itself is, well, decent enough. It's nothing great by any means, but it's definitely good as far as gaming laptops go. What's more is that you also get two-way AI noise cancellation here. So it's not just your audio that is rid of all the noise, but also the audio that you hear from the other party during a video call that is getting rid of all the noise. And all of this happens dynamically in real time. So that of course is great. So yeah, you can get an idea of the audio quality of the microphone here and this noise cancellation feature for yourself. Uh, from what I can say, you might not look great, but at least you will sound good and you will hear good as well. As for the audio output, you get a quad speaker setup here powered by two tweeters and two woofers and boy are they loud. Just make sure to switch to the dynamic profile inside the Dolby Access app because that's where it makes a massive difference. Like seriously, uh, so we have the mic right here and let me just give you a quick sound test. So right now it is on music. Volume full. And if I play this. This person. This is not a good one. Now if I change it to dynamic and 
The storms we chase are leaving us. That love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No. Alright, so moving along, let's talk about probably one of my favorite features about this laptop. You guessed it, the display. Uh, I mean, this is hands down the best display that I've seen on a gaming laptop. In fact, forget that. I would go as far as to say that this is the best display that I've seen on a laptop, period. Like literally, this right here is a 16 inch mini LED panel with an aspect ratio of 16 is to 10 and a screen to body ratio of 90%. You get 240 hertz of refresh rate with 3 ms of response time. There's 100% DCI-P3 coverage and there's also support for NVIDIA G-Sync here. Speaking of color reproduction, this panel is Pantone validated and also supports VESA Display HDR 1000 with a peak brightness of 1100 nits. ASUS collectively calls all of this the Nebula HDR branding, which is better than the standard Nebula display that's found on the 18-inch variant of this laptop. Uh, the basic difference is, is that the normal Nebula display is an 8-bit panel, has a peak brightness of 500 nits. This is a proper 10-bit panel, peak brightness of 1100 nits, and yeah, that's the whole idea. And okay, I'm not trying to point fingers at ASUS for it. Like you're selling a higher price laptop, but with a inferior display. It's not ASUS's fault. There's just no manufacturer out there that can include all of these features in an 18-inch display. Maybe with the next generation, but for right now, the 16-inch one has the best display out there, period. Oh yeah, there's also support for Dolby HDR here. So basically, watching HDR content on this is absolutely amazing. And as far as gaming is concerned, it's a whole different level. The screen is immersive, vibrant, and so rich in color, there are literally zero compromises here. Also, speaking of gaming, let's just talk about the performance now, shall we? So the ROG Strix SCAR16 comes with a 13th gen Intel Core i9 13980HX processor coupled with 32GB of DDR5 RAM clocked at 4800MHz. There's the NVIDIA RTX 4080 mobile GPU with 175W TDP, that's 150 normal and 25W boost. And as for storage, you get 1TB of NVMe PCIe 4.0 storage. Now the numbers are on your screen and the laptop just excels everywhere. This combination of RTX 4080 with Intel i9 is producing scores that are higher than most gaming desktops as well. In fact, while I do own a BV gaming PC at home, I found myself using the ROG Strix Car 16 more for my gaming needs. And no, I wasn't using this just for review purposes. This thing actually outperforms my gaming PC and I did not even need to use my gaming monitor. The panel here is so good and the performance is such a massive upgrade. I just found myself gaming on this laptop so much more. Like the gaming benchmarks are on your screen as well. And I won't deny the fact that these aren't the best out there since you can purchase an RTX 4090 GPU laptop as well. I would argue that this is way more than enough for most folks out there. Okay, so the performance is great. Uh, but of course, that's not what defines a gaming laptop. What keeps a gaming laptop running is the thermal setup. And that is exactly where ASUS has gone all out. You get a tri-fan setup here coupled with full surround winds. There are a total of seven heat pipes in here. And ASUS has also worked with Thermal Grizzly to include Conductor Knot Extreme Liquid Metal for thermal conductivity here. Now, ASUS claims that this results in up to 15 degrees cooler temperatures. Now, of course, I cannot validate that test, but what I can tell you is that in my testing, the peak temperatures that I recorded were 92 degrees, which was after four hours of continuous playback of Hogwarts Legacy on the highest settings in Quad HD resolution. So that's pretty impressive. Now, speaking of gaming, the laptop also comes with a very nice keyboard here. See, when you ask me about my preferences, uh, when it comes to gaming laptops, uh, keyboards on gaming laptops, my preference or my allegiance lies with MSI or Steel Series for that matter. And when it comes to Ultrabooks or normal work professional machines, then I prefer Lenovo's keyboards. Now, the ROG Strix has a keyboard that basically sits somewhere in the middle. So what you get here is a great layout with well spaced out keys and nice key travel for your gaming needs. However, it's actually a very silent keyboard apart from the space bar here which does feel quite polished. Like, uh, I'll just give you a sound test here. Um, these are the normal keys. Let me just put it closer to the, this. The mic is right here. These are the normal keys. And this is the space bar. 
so yeah just the no just the space bar makes us sound also uh, speaking of being silent this is one thing i wanted to talk about i missed out talking about this in the design section which is the fact that uh, while the hinge here is quite sturdy it does make some noise just listen to this I mean it sounds a little bit like cheap plastic and it's not the kind of quality you would expect on a machine priced this high. Now another thing that's not acceptable is this touchpad. See it's not bad or anything. In fact it's got a large surface area and Asus also bundles a numpad inside here. But even so the surface does not feel that smooth and there's definite room for improvement here. With that being said, this laptop is definitely meant as a desktop replacement and you will be using a gaming mouse with it anyway. So the little moments here and there when you have to use the touchpad, it should be fine. Lastly, there's the battery life. Now, this laptop comes packing in a 90 watt hour battery which on paper sounds great, but at the same time you have to remember that this is a gaming laptop packing in very power hungry hardware. So you can't really expect all day long battery life from it. Um, it performs as you would expect from a gaming PC about four to five hours or depending upon your usage obviously uh, But what I will admire about this laptop is that it comes with uh, advanced Nvidia Optimus technology Now see Nvidia Optimus and the use of a MUX switch is nothing new it, This technology has been there for the last two generations if I'm not wrong uh, But what's different here is that previously when you had to make the switch from uh, your normal integrated GPU to discrete GPU or vice versa, your system required a reboot. Now things have changed. You can just open the ROG Armory crate, select the graphic processor you want. Basically, if you want dedicated graphics card or you want integrated GPU and just click apply and that's it. In fact, you can even set it to auto prefer in the sense that when you're launching a game, the system will automatically switch to the dedicated graphic card. And when you exit the game, it will automatically switch back to the integrated GPU, thus saving you a lot of battery as well. Now, as for charging, it comes with a massive 330 watt charger and makes use of a 16 ampere power plug, which is understandable considering the power. Now, interestingly, this laptop can also be charged via USB power delivery. Yep, you can use a 100 watt USB type C charger to charge this thing up. But just keep in mind that will be used only to, well, juice up the battery. Don't think that you can just plug a type C charger and then game on it because there's just not enough power being supplied to this thing. I mean, the GPU itself is 175 watts. So do the math. Uh, if you want to game on this, you still have to carry the 330 watt power brick with you. So, uh, of course, this video has been quite long. So now let's just cut to the chase. Uh, the Asus ROG Strix SCAR 16 is priced roughly at 2.8 lakh rupees here in India, which for the better part seems justified. See, not only are you getting the latest hardware, which I mean, see, this is the thing. I have always maintained the statement about laptops. Any brand can offer you the latest hardware. There's no big deal in that. Any brand can do that. What makes a difference is what the brand couples it with. What's the surrounding package? What's the cooling system? What's the keyboard, touchpad, display, entire thing? All of that can make or break the experience. And with this car 16, the experience is pretty good. So the cost is pretty much justified. Now, with all of that being said, I did mention that this comes with an RTX 4080 GPU. If you're looking for even more power, we have the MSI Raider G78 in the house that comes with the RTX 4090. Now our review for that will be going live soon as well. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel and have the bell icon turned on for whenever that video goes live. As for this video, if you like this video, well then just make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up. Till then, this is Varun from GTR and I'll see you in the next one.